With Japan 2019 fast approaching, we caught up with former Wales captain Sam Warburton to give us his perspective on what we may expect from the tournament. I think the, the win in the recent six seasons for Wales is massive uh, for momentum moving into the World Cup. I generally think they've got a fantastic chance of, of winning it, as of, I think, four other teams in Ireland, England, New Zealand would be the number one team to beat, and then South Africa as well. So I think it's wide open this year. Five teams can generally win the World Cup, and it's probably the most open it's been for, for many, many years. The Wales have done a lot of things right in the past 10 years when they've played Australia. And they've obviously beaten them recently in the November series in 2018, so which is great from a, a psychological point of view because you don't want to be doing press conferences as a player and being asked questions that you haven't won since 2008. So that monkey is gone, no, that's off the back. So both teams have been so close in recent years. I think Wales are generally the better team at this moment in time. You know, I've gone into World Cups where we've had poor Six Nations campaigns and vice versa, but it's so much easier when you have wins under your belt. And there's still four warm games to go, so double headers against England and Ireland, home and away. So there's going to be at least two or three of those games where both unions will put out their strongest team, and if you can come out on top in that, in those games, then that will be huge moving forward. You can completely lose the momentum you've got with, say, three losses out of four, and it completely turns it on its head. So hopefully we'll get a good few wins in that warm-up period, and that'll put them in really good shape moving to the group stages. I think the players to watch out for, uh, and coincidentally, they're all at number 10, actually. And I think they're going to take the headlines in the World Cup, but you've got Bowden Barrett of New Zealand. You see the body language, superb move. You've got Owen Farrell of England. Well, this is Owen Farrell territory now, his banner. The Johnny Sexton of Ireland, they're so instrumental to what those three teams do. Good decision-making, the precision of the execution was perfect. And Wales at the moment, Gareth Hanscom's in that driving seat at, at number 10. Just coincidentally, I'm thinking of number 10s. Normally, I'm thinking of sevens or wingers, but I think the 10s are going to be huge influential in this World Cup. You know, I wouldn't fancy playing Japan. You know, they'd be much more preferable tier two nations to play against in Japan being at their home World Cup. But there normally is a surprise. I don't think we'll see too many surprises from the, the Pacific Island nations, but I think Japan could cause some real trouble again in this World Cup. I think Japan is it's really timely with their, with their win against South Africa four years ago. And to grow the game now, you are looking at those countries like Japan and USA, and, and they, they could be superpowers of the game from a, from a performance point of view in years to come, and from a financial point of view, and, and the fans and the, and the player base they have is enormous as well. So that's two countries in particular, which I think um, we're doing a, a good job in, in tapping into, and you want there to be 15 competitive teams. Right now, you've probably got you know, eight, nine really competitive teams. If in two World Cups time you can you can develop that into 12 to 15 really strong competitive teams, and that'll be great for the game of rugby.